Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this part two, I will show you how we can adjust the inference code of the Tortoise TDS architecture or Tortoise TDS model so that we can generate speech for our own language. But before we start, I quickly want to announce the winner of the RTX 3080 Ti, which is Olivier Potier. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I will reach out to you individually. Congratulations. I hope you are excited and this GPU will allow you to do some cool things. All right, and now let's jump right into it and start adjusting the inference code of the Tortoise TDS model. And for this, we will upload the fine tune model to the Hugging Face Hub and then adjust the inference code of the original Tortoise library to use our fine tuned autoregressive model inside the Tortoise architecture and therefore generate speech for our language. And in the inference code of the original Tortoise TDS library, we can see here that all the model checkpoints or all the parts of the models are loaded from Hugging Face and therefore it just makes sense to also upload our fine-tuned model checkpoint to Hugging Face and with this we can also share our work with others. In order to be able to upload the fine-tuned model to the Hugging Face Hub, we first need to make sure that we have installed the Hugging Face Hub library. In case you don't have installed this library, just run the following command pip install Hugging Face Hub and then we can initialize the API and here you need to state your username, which in my case is Tissera, then the repository name, I just named it custom language GPT, and then the repository ID is built by first our username, then slash, and then our repository name. And this is a relative path to the fine-tuned model, which is stored under the following path, which we already saw here. Then you also need to state your Hugging Face auth token, which if you already have an Hugging Face account, you can see here your username by the way and then you can open the settings and then the tokens access tokens here and either create a new token with write permission so you can upload the file and just give it a name then you can copy your auth token and just paste it here and that's all the changes you need to upload the fine tune model to hugging face and then we can create first a repository and afterwards we can upload the file using the fine tune model path here then we will call the uploaded file custom language GPT and pass the repository ID that we have initialized here. And then if everything was successful, we get return a model URL and this one will be printed here, which we then can use in the next step. Yes, and then after running this, we can see that the model was uploaded successfully and the fine tune model was uploaded to the following path, which you can also open and then can see that the repository was created successfully. And we can also see that the model weights got uploaded successfully. All right, and then we can alter the inference code to allow special letters when generating speech for our language. And for this, we will clone the original Tortoise CDS library or repository and make two adjustments in the tokenizer pi file. And then in the API pi file, we will alter the URL for the autoregressive model and change it to the one that we have just generated up here. As done before, we will create a fork for the original Tortoise CDS repository. Then we can clone the fork repository by typing in git clone and the link to your fork repository. And then you can open the fork repository in the IDE of your choice and then open the tokenizer.py file, which you can find under tortoise utils and then tokenizer.py. And here in line 142, we have the method English cleaners, which you should already be familiar with from the fine tuning code. And again, we will use the same functionality that we use in the fine tuning code here. So in my case, that will be the following one. And as with the fine tuning code, I also need to add an import statement for the German transliterate library, which I'm doing here. And then another change that we need to do in this file is to go to line 169, which is this one. And here we need to exchange the relative path for the tokenizer. And in our particular case, we named our tokenizer custom language tokenizer. So we need to replace this and move our train tokenizer to this folder. And then we can save this file. And what we then need to do is to add the custom language tokenizer to the data folder. So we have the following structure, tortoise, data, and here we can already see the previous tokenizer, tokenizer for English language. And now we need the tokenizer train for our language in this folder. And as you can see, now I've added the custom language tokenizer to the data folder. And definitely make sure to save and download the tokenizer once you're done with the fine tuning, because the fine tuned model strictly relies on the train tokenizer for your language. And in case you don't have the tokenizer anymore, your fine tune model is basically worthless. So absolutely make sure to download and save your custom language tokenizer and then also add it to the data folder. Then we need to open the api.py file, which is stored in the tortoise folder here. So we have tortoise and then api.py file. Then we need to adjust the code in line 217. So this one, and usually the model will be loaded from the hugging face up, but we will replace this line with the following. So first we will download the model weights from the hugging face up repository where we have 
uploaded our model weights to. So in my case, that will be my username to Sarah and then the repository name, which is custom language GPT, but adjust this for your settings. And then as you can see here, this will return a path where the fine-tuned model is located on our local computer after downloading it from the Hugging Face app. And using this path, we can then load the model weights and initialize our model. And in case you didn't upload the model weights of your fine-tuned model to the Hugging Face app, you can also state a path to the model weights on your local computer here. And then we can create a commit for all the changes made by typing in git commit minus am and then allow speech generation for a custom language or any commit message of your choice. And then as before, we can push the changes again to GitHub or you can just continue working on your local computer if you have a GPU on your local computer. All right, then we can jump back to the notebook and then clone the altered inference code for our custom language and install all required modules to generate speech using the find you model. All right, and for this, we run the following cell and then now it's finally time to shine to see our fine-tuned tortoise model in action. And let's see how it performs for German language. I know that the majority of you guys can't really understand it, but maybe you can still anticipate if that sounds like authentic German or like absolutely nonsense. Hopefully that gives you hope to fine-tune your own text-to-speech model for your language. And to all my German viewers, feel free to share with the others in the comments what you think about the generated speech files. And yeah, those are some examples that excluding the first one that are generated using ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT to write short sentences that contain a lot of as, ös and üs, so special letters that are in the German language but not in the English language and therefore we can see how good the model performed on those which were not in the original training data but only in the data that we used for fine-tuning the tortoise model. And here we also use different voices. So to see some variety, and actually all those voices contain English speech. So let's see how that actually works. And if we are able to take the voice of an English speaking person and generate German speech with it. All right, and then we can run this cell to define both variables. And then we can run this cell, which this will initialize and download all model weights needed to generate speech using the tortoise architecture, including our fine-tuned autoregressive model. Then we iterate through the example text and voices and first collect the voice samples for each voice and then generate the speech for each input text giving specific voice samples. And then we will display the generated speech for each combination of example text and voice so we can verify the results. And yeah, I would say we just run this and this will take maybe a minute, but I'm very sure it's worth the wait. All right, and now finally we have generated speech for our language. And now let's listen to the speech samples that we have generated. And here's the first one. Das Trainieren von Sprachmodellen für neue Sprachen funktioniert äußerst gut. All right, let's just continue with all the other ones. And then I'll talk more about it, so we get an idea of how they all sound. Äpfel und Birnen sind gesund für den Körper. Kappa. Übermorgen fahren wir in die Berge. Das Kaffee um die Ecke serviert köstlichen Kuchen und Kaffee. Inmitten des Blütenmeers wandern wir durch den zauberhaften Frühlingswald. Yes, and I would say they're not perfect, but I still like them very much because there are some things that can be improved. For example, one thing that I could hear right now is the word cafe. This letter is actually not considered. This is more or less an outlier and not covered in the training data. So something to improve in a future version. But apart from that, I think all the pronunciation was very spot on. I also listened to some of those voice examples and if the voices are a little bit like noisy or there's some background noise going on. If you listen to the audio samples for those voices, they also have the same background noise. And that's why the model takes the background noise that's present in the input audio samples and also makes it part in the generated speech. So this kind of shows us that the audio quality of the input audio samples is important to generate high quality speech. And then another thing is that at the end there's always some weird noise, noises going on. And I think this is probably because we fine-tuned the autoregressive model and the internal representations of the autoregressive model serve as an input for the diffusion model. And I think if we would fine tune the diffusion model as well, we would get rid of those weird noises. But for now, I also wrote a quick experimental code that trims the speech. I can't guarantee you that this will work in all cases, but what this more or less does is we take the peak amplitude, then analyze like in specific frames, hop over the audio signal and try to find a frame that's 40 decibels more silent than our peak amplitude. And if that's the case, that's below our threshold and then we'll cut it. So you can kind of imagine it starts kind of silent, then we have all the speech. And then after the speech is getting silent again, 
and that's again where we want to cut it. So we kind of only have the speech and this is what this method does. I can just run this cell and then add the trim audio method here. So this is kind of a post-processing step and now let's run it again to see the results. And now we can already see that the generated speech samples are a little bit shorter and now let's listen to all of them again. Das Tavinieren von Sprachmodellen für neue Sprachen funktioniert äußerst gut. Äpfel und Birnen sind gesund für den Körper. Übermorgen fahren wir in die Berge. Das Kaffee um die Ecke serviert köstlichen Kuchen und ein leises Lachen verzaubert die Luft und lässt Herzen höher schlagen. Inmitten des Blütenmeers wandern wir durch den zauberhaften Frühlingswald. Yes, so now we can see that the trimming actually helped and we have way less of the weird noise. But I don't know if you could hear it. For this one, it actually cut off a little bit of the speech. So this is definitely not bulletproof yet and it needs to be further optimized. Yeah, feel free to optimize this code so that it becomes even more robust. And another idea could be using a, a line transcription. So based on the transcription, you would do the trimming, which could be even more precise, but takes a little longer. Yes, and that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it, guys. I hope you learned a lot and were able to generate speech in your language. Let me know in the comments how it went for you and if you were successfully able to generate speech in your language and how it did sound and if it worked out overall. And yeah, I find it really interesting that you can also take voice from English speakers and generate speech in German language using their voice. So this would kind of allow for an authentic translation. So you kind of take a voice sample of a person, translate it and generate it in a different language using their voice. So I think this could be something really helpful for a lot of people and I want to look into it more in future videos. And if you're interested in that too, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video overall, please like the video. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. And until then, have a great time. Bye bye.